All right, guys, Peanuts here from Team Liquid, uh, sitting down with Scarlet at WCS Season 2 Finals here in Toronto. Uh, right now, uh, I think Pult's building a supply depot, but this is kind of more interesting than early game macro. Uh, so, Scarlet, uh, how does it feel to be here competing in the Archon Mode tournament with, uh, with Huck? Well, we're not really competing anymore, are we? <laughs> but it was pretty fun. How did it feel to compete in the Archon tournament? Past tense. As I said, it was pretty fun. Some of the times were a little bit frustrating in the last match, but I liked it overall. So you guys had been playing a lot of Archon mode together on Huck Stream. So were you always planning on eventually signing up for the qualifiers, or was it just kind of, hey, we're both going to be at the event, we both like playing together, let's give it a shot and get easy money? Well, I first heard about this Archon stuff like a few months ago, way before it was announced from Ben, and... He told us there's a show match, there's like a show match that we ended up playing me and Huck against Beast of QT and QXC. And it was supposed to be at first me plus one versus Huck plus one. Then Huck just asked me if we want, I wanted to play together, I said sure. And we started practicing after that. So we played like two or three days of practice before the show match, like one or two more before this. So this is kind of part of your like unretirement from StarCraft, can you talk about kind of that process of you took you took a break for a while and now you're kind of coming back like how seriously are you playing is this just kind of you know I have a little bit more time before school so let's give it another shot can you repeat the question so how so this is part of you kind of unretiring in a sense but how serious are you playing are you playing at the same intensity as like 2013 or are you just doing this as, well, I still have a lot of talent, and I have time before school, so I might as well compete? Well, first off, like a while ago at the start of the year, even at the end of last year, I'm, I kind of wanted to take a break. Like, I wanted to take a break for a long time, because like, I've been doing StarCraft for a few years, and I was just getting a little tired of some parts of it. So I wanted to take some time off. I played some Dota during then, and recently... I started playing again when the WCS Season 2 was announced to be here, actually. So mm -hmm. I, that was like two days before the qualifier started. So I tried playing that, didn't work out, because almost, but not quite. And now it's sort of, yeah, it's something I'm doing before, before I go to school, of course. But I'm not taking it super, super seriously. Like, not the same as it was last year or the year before. So do you think you'll play for the Season 3 qualifiers, or are you just kind of going to play show matches and occasional online tournament? I'll probably try the qualifiers, yeah. So you said that you were kind of tired of some parts of StarCraft. Was it just the balance? Was it, you know, just the long hours? Was it the fact that it's a dead game? Um, maybe it was partially, like, events and stuff, and... Like, I'm a really shy person, normally. We're not even shy, but like introvert. I'm not, I'm less shy nowadays, but like after a while of being like in the public eye, not even just at events, but like online and everything for years, like I just need a break eventually. So I guess that's what that was. Um, also, like I'm fine with the game. I s playing the game is still fine, but I just needed a break from everything. So for a while, uh, during your kind of retirement, you, you mentioned you were playing a lot of Dota, and for a couple months you were talking pretty seriously about trying to go professional in that, and then after a couple months of grinding MMR, you just kind of said, you know what, it's not for me. So what, what was the story with that? Walk us through your kind of attempt at you know, like going pro, or kind of shot at going pro. Well, mostly it was just something to do while I wasn't doing StarCraft. I never really... Because like even way back, I played like Dota 1 before StarCraft 2 and everything. And I was never really interested in playing any tournaments or anything. Like I helped run a few like 1v1 tournaments and stuff, but I never played in anything, even though I was pretty good at the game. Just because I didn't feel like I'd want to really play a competitive game like in a tournament as a team. Because I prefer working by myself when I'm playing in a competition. So, mostly it was just something to do. Like, I got pretty good at it, but then I'm like, yeah, I really don't want to play this on a team. So I just, like, yeah. I stopped. So, would you ever, ever consider playing any other games professionally? Uh, you're pretty close with Suppy, and he's playing Heroes now a lot. A lot of StarCraft 
players are switching over to Heroes. Uh, any other games that you'd consider? Well, as I said, it's like a team game thing. So if I was to play like a AOS, I would play Dota, not Heroes. Um, like the only thing I can think of that's popular nowadays is one of you on is Hearthstone. And it's okay, but I'm just not the biggest fan of that game. Ken's probably pretty sad that you didn't mention Melee in 1v1 games. Well, it's different. It's not like a computer game, so I view it differently. So, of all the tournaments that you've been to, how does Toronto rank up? Do you enjoy just the fact that you weren't really here as a full-time player, you just got to relax? I saw you watching a lot of the games just out in the crowd. Yeah, a lot of it's just meeting up with friends, like people that I haven't seen in like over a year. It's also, yeah, it is nice when you're not super stressed, like preparing for matches the whole time, so you actually have time to do stuff. It's, it's. I, I really want to know what's going on, but I don't think we should walk out. Hang on. All right, the game didn't end, so we're good. Yeah, it's, it's just a lot nicer because it's not stressful at all. Like this thing was, as much as it was a tournament, it was something like, I mean, Huck were kind of doing for fun. Because I'm not even like sure if I could play the rest of the like DC or, and I can't even go to the playoffs for it in August. So it's as much of a fun thing as it is a competition. So what's kind of your plan for the rest of this time before school? Are you gonna keep playing, try some casting, or just go back to streaming? Because you had a few weeks where you were streaming Dota pretty often and got some good viewers. I streamed Dota once ever. Rip. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll do, I'll do a little bit of stuff. Occasionally go to a land, maybe like play show matches occasionally. And I am doing hosting at Home Story Cup next weekend. So there's that. And and some coaching on the side, but it's not like full time competitive. Like what Kane is doing now. He's going back to school, but he's gonna play a little bit like WCS. What are you hoping to study in school? I'm going to try computer science for a year, see if I like it, see, how, see where I go from there. It's a pretty StarCraft answer to say. Yeah, but like, I, I was learning programming and everything when I was younger, before, like 12, 13, around that age. So I have some experience with just messing around with things and I'm okay at it. So looking back on your career, is there any one tournament that you can choose that you really wish you had won? Because, you know, like, obviously everyone wants to win every tournament, but is there one specific event that you just wish you had won, that you felt you could have won? There's an online tournament for $50. <laughs> Four years ago. You know Sasquatch? Yeah, Gage. Yeah, yes. <laughs> He's going to get some his, his name is Gage. What's funny about his name? I'm not done. Okay, so he kind of knew my brother from Warcraft 3, like, way back. So I sort of knew him since then, since we both got into StarCraft. So this, like one of the pub Dota leagues that I used to play in Dota 1 was, and I managed a few tournaments for, they were running, they were running like a $50 online tournament. And I ended up playing Gage in it, and I lost to Gage, Sasquatch. I really wanted to win that tournament. So you're saying that the one tournament you wanted to win wasn't even a StarCraft tournament? No, it was a StarCraft tournament run by like Dota people, but I lost to Gage in 2011, before anyone knew who I was. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Uh, I'm never doing an interview during a finals game again. This is really loud. Uh, so, do you see yourself sticking with Acer for the rest of the time, or just kind of doing your own thing? I'm happy with Acer. I think they're happy with me, so hopefully. Hopefully is my answer. We'll see, though. We'll see. What? I don't know. You, like, you stopped, so I wanted to go and ask another question, and then you start again? I just, my micro is really bad. Got bad micro. Uh, so do you have anyone that you want to thank? Where can we find you on social media? All that usual stuff. Um, you can find me on Twitter, at twitter.com slash acerscarlet, but I never actually tweet anything related to StarCraft, so for a morning, like I just tweet YouTube videos or stuff, so if you really want to see that, sure, you can follow me. Um, thanks to the fans and to people here at Toronto, it's been really fun. I, I love that Red Bull's doing these Archon tournaments this year. It's like a 
It's like a really nice change. It's something new. So thank you to Red Bull. Cool. What, what, oh. <laughs> so refreshing. I want to win a tournament now. Uh, thanks for joining us. All right, bye.